What's up guys? Welcome to my YouTube channel. Kung bago ka lang sa aking YouTube channel, don't forget to subscribe it and turn on the notification bell so you can be updated for my upcoming videos. So, let's start! So, what's up guys? For today's vlog, we tackled about what is oral communication and the five elements of communication and the non-verbal and the verbal communication. So first, we tackled about what is the oral communication. For me, oral communication, we will learn how to communicate to others better. We could upgrade our communication skills here and we can talk to others. Oral communication taught us a lot of knowledge that we could bring to the futures. Oral communication is communicating with spoken words. It's a verbal form of communication where you communicate your thoughts, present ideas, and share information. Example of oral communication are conversations with friends, family, or colleagues, presentations, and speeches. Oral communication helps to build trust and reliability. The process of oral communication is more effective than an email or a text message. For important and sensitive conversations, such as salary negotiations and even conflict resolution, you can rely on oral communication to get your point across, avoid misunderstandings, and minimize confusions. Oh, Kyla Camille! Sorry, sorry who are you? I am your classmates in general, Jesus College. Do you remember me? Is that you, Kim Harvey? Yeah, I am. How are you now, bro? Oh, I'm fine. About you? Yeah, I'm good. And where are you live from now? I live in Canada now because my parents has a business over there. Oh, nice. How are you? So nice. Oh, bye. -bye. Thank you. And that is an example of communication. Com oral communication is not only about speaking or giving words. We can also communicate online like messengers. We can communicate here, especially in distant place. It will make it easier for us. In today's pandemic, we are most our meetings are concentrated in online because to avoid COVID. Even messenger or other apps, as long as they are talking, it is a communication. Next, we talked about the six elements of communication. The, the sender or the receiver, the message, channel, feedback, noise, and the settings. So first, what is sender or receiver? The first person to start the conversation is the sender and the listener is the receiver. When people start talking or sharing ideas, insights, information, experiences, emotions, or opinions, the communication process begins. Next is what is message. In rhetorical and communication studies, a message is defined as information conveyed by words and or, or other signs and symbol, a message, verbal or non-verbal or both is the content of communication process the sender conveys the message to a receiver Next is what is channel 
the medium or the mean such as personal or non-personal, verbal or non-verbal, in which the encode message is conveyed. What is feedback? The reactions, responses, and information provided by the receiver. What is noise? Communication noise refers to influences on effective communication. The influence the interpretation of conversations forms the communication noise include psychological noise, physical noise, sociological and semantic noise. And the last is what is settings? Settings or the environmental context plays a crucial role in effective communication. Environmental context refers to physical location or where the communication is talking place. Factors of environmental context include location, time, weather, and temperature. And there are the six elements of communication. Again, the six elements of communication is the sender or receiver, message, channel, feedback, noise, and the settings. Next is we talked about what is non-verbal communication and verbal communication. What is non-verbal communication? Non-verbal communication is the transmission of message or signals through a non-verbal platform such as eye contact, facial expression, gesture, posture, and the distance between two individuals. Example for nonverbal communication. In the scenario you saw in the video, first of all, waving or shaking your hand is used, which means hello. Next is I apologize, but I only use nonverbal communication, and that is the peace sign, which means I apologize. My next example a woman helped me pick an onion, and the sign I used was the bow, which means thank you. My last example is I park a motorbike, I use it to gesture or sign correct or proper parking. What is verbal communication? The verbal communication is a type of oral communication. Within the message is transmitted through the spoken words. Here the sender gives word to his feelings through ideas and opinions and experiences them. The form of speeches, discussions, presentations, and conversation. Good morning, STEM 11 TA. Good morning, sir. And that's the example of verbal communication. And that's our blog for today about what I learned in oral communication. Thank you for watching!